Uh, we, have a, we have a recognition today. The Board of Select will recognize Hopkins High School se senior Ben Sear, recipient of the 2017 Philanthropist Award from the Foundation for Metro West. Ben is a graduate of the Foundation's Hopkinton Youth and Philanthropy Program, which is a, which is a selective semester-long course on leadership and community philanthropy. Hey, Ben, come on up. Bring, 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 your, bring your, your father and your brother with you. And I've heard you, you know, speak a couple times. You're, you're just uh, you, you, you're wise beyond your years when it comes to speaking and public speaking. So, Thank you. So uh, please tell us, uh, tell us all about um, the, uh, the philanthropies and, and, uh, and everything else that you've been doing lately. Yeah, so the program I got involved with, it's, it's uh, through the Foundation for Metro West, and I found out about it through Hopkinton High School. A lot of the guidance counselors were sending out emails to all the students about it, so I figured I'd give it a shot and, and see what it has to offer. Beforehand, I, I was very interested in community service, but nothing to the extent past the average student as I was volunteering drives and all that kind of stuff. And I got into the program, I just I found a passion and I loved it. And I am glad to say that I excelled as the co-chair of the board in Hopkinton, that paired with Hopkinton Country Club. And uh, we got a lot accomplished. We donated over $11,000 to local nonprofits all around the area in the Metro West. And the foundation just uh, liked my passion and dedication to the field of philanthropy so much that they offered me this award. And, I was given the privilege to speak at an event back in May where I was able to kind of share my story and, and talk to all these donors about what I thought success was involving philanthropy and all that stuff. And then I was even more blessed to speak at this recent conference, which you guys attended, that was pitched more towards businesses and CEOs. And I was able to kind of connect the next generation to philanthropy and to the future of business and kind of pitch to them why it's so important to recruit people like us. and to incorporate philanthropy into everything they do. So I've just been so gracious to be able to speak that to so many people and spread my message in any way I can because I view, it, I view it as a true passion and a true necessity of life as something you really need to accomplish and affect your community in every way possible. So I'm just doing everything I can to help Hopkinton and help the Metro West and all the surrounding areas. Excellent. Yeah, thank you very much. Because I saw you also at the National Honor Society. I you to believe you're president. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, you, it was just inspirational to, to the to the younger students, and showing them what uh, what they can what they can become if they put their mind to it and work hard. Anybody have any? Ben, can you give us uh, the elevator pitch version of uh, of the message that you're trying to spread? Yeah. So. Um, the main focus on both of my speeches and kind of everything I was looking at was kind of this new vision of success and how after involving myself in these different in these different groups, uh, I don't view success as making the most money or getting into a good school or whatever. I view success as impacting my community in the most, most ways possible. And I just think youth is so important in that aspect because obviously we're going to be the future of this world. And I really want to spread my message to as many kids like me as possible so that they can do everything I hope to accomplish and even more so that the people around me can improve my community on top of me, not just, not just me alone. So my, my main goal is just to kind of spread this word to as many people as possible through these kind of conferences or whether it be talking at my school or just getting people to join youth and philanthropy or involve themselves in the foundation for Metro West. I, I really just hope to better my community in every way possible, whether that be Hawkington or Metro West or the state. That's great. Um, you know, I mean, this is, this is one of those things that uh, after watching the news night after night after night, this actually gives you a good feeling and mm -hmm. a little bit of hope for the future. Because <laughs> um, you certainly don't get that feeling every night uh, after you finish watching the national news. Um, it's great that there, there are organizations like this. Um, you know, we had them come and speak to us a couple weeks ago. Uh, you know, there are others out there. Uh, another one that was started by a former teacher in Hopkinton, I think, Enjoy Life Club. And there, there are different clubs like this that are really promoting positive attitudes and, and really taking it upon yourself to start affecting change. And speaking for myself, I never heard of any groups like that when I was your age. Uh, and you know, we, who knows, maybe we wouldn't necessarily be feeling the way we do when we watch the news if there were more of these in, in the past. 
So it certainly gives us hope for the future. And great job. And keep going. And, and don't forget the lessons you're learning now. Keep spreading them. Thank you very much. Claire. I'm so glad that you could come tonight, Ben, so we could give you, um, give you this honor. And, and thank you. Um, Mr. Cotino and I had the pleasure of attending the uh, Foundation for Metro West Community Breakfast a couple weeks ago, where uh, Ben was honored to be the keynote speaker before a group of about 350 business and community leaders. Um, there are apparently two of these awards given a year, and um, Ben received one of them, and only one is selected to speak before the annual breakfast. Um, <coughs> And I have learned a little more about the organization since then. And, and just in Hopkinton, uh, it's a competitive program. And I think there are only there are about 48 students that applied in one year, and only 20 were accepted. The kids do this all in their own time. It's not part of the regular school day, so they they <coughs> need their own time to participate in this. And um, you know, I, I think we're blessed as a community to have a number of local charities and. Our kids do community service. We have the Martin Luther King Day of Giving Back. But the foundation really um, focuses on really building a culture of philanthropy in, in youth and, and this fabric of, of giving back in all that you do, and also teaching these young people to, um, to assess philanthropic endeavors and make wise choices to read budgets, to um, understand how grants are made. They actually do their own grant giving with a certain amount of funds that the foundation um, gives to these young people to um, make grants in their community, not just in Hopkinton, but in the whole area. So it, it's a real learning program that um, <coughs> is designed to build young philanthropists for life. And the fact that there are about 14 different communities participating and that Ben um, was selected to receive the award really says a lot about, about who this young man is and what he's accomplished. So I'm just really glad to have you here tonight, Ben, and we're, we're very pleased to be able to honor you. Thank you very much. So Ben, congratulations, and uh, your pitch to us or your discussion to us was pretty motivational, pretty inspirational. It's hard to believe that you're a kid in high school talking to us this way. Um, it's, uh, you know, it, it's great and I, I'm, it's nice to see that you went down this road, but uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't probably mention that your, your home life kind of forced you, steered you that way. So, <coughs> Mr. Sear, you did a great job. Uh, raising him and kind of pushing him the right way uh, kind of makes me, when I go home tonight, say, all right, maybe a little less Minecraft, maybe a little bit more <laughs> philanthropic <laughs> stuff for my kids. <coughs> so um, it's, it's great to see this happen with your generation. Like Mr. Sestari said, uh, there's a lot of doom and gloom out there. And for you to be able to see the, the, uh, the good and chase the good, <clears throat> I think it's wonderful. And um, just, you, uh, you did a great job. Uh, proud of you as a, as a Hopkintonian. And uh, I'm, I'm proud that you're a guy from Hopkinton doing such good, and I know that you'll continue doing good. And when you get your first job, I want you to go on Zillow and buy a house in Hopkinton and stay in Hopkinton. I don't want you to be one of these guys that comes in, does great, and beats it. So stay here. Make keep Hopkins and great again. All right. Go ahead, Mr. Hurt. Mr. Hurt, it's uh, <laughs> philanthropic. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I couldn't pronounce the word last week for whatever reason. <laughs> philanthropic, <laughs> philanthropic <laughs> program. In fact, that's what I couldn't get out was the program part. Anyway, Ben, this is awesome. Uh, I'm really excited to see you here tonight. I'm excited to see your dad here tonight. Your mom. Everybody's been part of this for you in your life. And uh, my colleagues have said everything uh, I think that needs to be said. I'm just really proud and honored as I sit here. I got a little bit of chills thinking about this. You're out there representing the community of Hopkinton at this Metro West breakfast. That's awesome. That's really cool that someone your age, as articulate as you are, as proud as you are, as strong as you are with your voice, standing up and representing our community, I think is really, really cool. And uh, I can't think of uh, anybody more I'd want out there representing our community 
uh, in this day and age with all that is going on in our world. So good for you and congratulations to your parents, your mom and dad, your family, uh, extended family. I think this is an awesome honor for you from them. And certainly we're glad to have you here tonight too and celebrate this. Thank you very much. Well done, well done. Well thank, done, Michael. Thank you very much for, for coming. I, I think we have a uh, uh, recognition. Do we, do we get all the signatures? Oh, it's, uh, I've got it. Oh, okay. Sign it. Right there. Oh, beautiful. Well, it, it's just, uh, well, we have to get. We need more, some more signatures on it. But, That's uh, true. We'll get them, but let's let's uh, do the presentation now, and we'll assign it uh, straight away. So let's uh, let's go around the other side. Okay.